in this video we're going to be having a blister battle. Evolving Skies versus Brilliant Stars. How's it going everybody? Bunch of Pokemon here. And as I've said in the intro, in this video we're going to be having a blister battle. Evolving Skies versus Brilliant Stars. I also have two more boosters for each, which I'm going to be adding into the mix. So we have like eight boosters on each side. But before we can get this started, I have to get these booster packs and the promo cards out of here. So let me just do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have the packs. As I've said uh, in the beginning, I have two more for each. So we have eight on each side. Just put those over here for one second. Of course, we also get two Suicune coins. Whoops. That's dropped into the abyss. Never to be seen again. And we also get two Blastoise coins, which is pretty nice. I have like a bunch of them. Of course, we also have our Promos, the Glaceon, or two of them, and of course the Ice Cube. I really like this this type of Holofoil. I really hope we get this type of Holofoil back in Violet and Scar. Look at that nice swirl on, on this Ice Cube. Really nice. And the last thing in those blisters is of course the code cards. I'm just gonna show them here real quick. So there you go. There you go. Loving skies and brilliant stars. So good luck to whoever gets that. Enjoy and all that good stuff. And let's get into the opening. I think I'm gonna do it uh, the same way as I did for Lost Abyss and Lost Origin. I'm gonna alternate between the two. Starting off with brilliant stars. And since this is a kind of a longer video, I suppose. We have a lot of cards, so I'm not gonna do the card trick. But there you go. I've actually gotten uh, some info on my Charizard Ultra Premium pre-order. It has been delayed. It's supposed to be delivered this week, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, holy moly. Okay, so that's right off the bat. We get a rainbow trainer and it's Sharon, one of my favorites. Very nice. Okay. So, brilliant stars just immediately a pull, which is nice. I'm unprepared. I don't even have sleeves ready. Gosh, what am I doing? All right, let's get you sleeved up. This is really cool. That's really, really nice. Okay, let's see what Evolving Skies can give us. The the Umbreon VMAX, you know, the one that reaching for the moon, the one everybody wants, that has now passed the threshold of 500 USD over on TCG Player, which is... That's just insane. Honestly, I really do hope that the Pokemon Company reprints Evolving Skies again. And then like, not in such a small quantity that it basically doesn't matter. Nice, Leafeon. So that you can actually, you know, go out and buy some boxes. Although, so, but I've, I've heard that the reprints of, of the Evolving Skies booster boxes, you know, not like the first print, the reprint, uh, that one is very rough with the pulls. So, I don't know. I mean, personally, I currently, even though I like Evolving Skies, it's like one of my favorite Sword and Shield sets. I probably wouldn't, wouldn't buy a box right now not to open. I would maybe buy one if you want to keep it sealed. I think that's your best bet. But, you know, to, to just, like, buy one to open, I really wouldn't advise it. Nice, a Torterra. I'm gonna put that there as well. Really nice pull to start it off. Let's see what else we can we can do here. Evolving Skies. Still lacking behind a bit in terms of the pulls. Maybe we can get something big. I mean, anything. If we get something really big out of Evolving Skies, that just means it wins. So, this is kind of interesting. But so far, Astral, or not Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars is in the lead. As we pull nothing in that pack, but that's about to be expected with that many cards. So yeah, uh, Charizard Premium, Ultra Premium Collection. Haven't heard anything about the shipping date, although I have received an update. It is supposed to be shipped this week as opposed to last week. Had a bit of a delay, but well... They basically said it's promised that they will fulfill the order. I don't know if I if I can believe that or not, but I guess we'll see. 
I guess we should see Nice to reverse boss's orders and the light part. So for a pretty slow, well, an explosive start, but now it's kind of slowing down with the pulls. Let's see. Honestly, the card. I mean, I I still need all the evolutions from from evolving skies, but the card I would want most out of here would probably be the Rayquaza VMAX. Rayquaza is one of my favorites, so that would be absolutely amazing to pull that card. But you know, you can't force it. Nice Emolga, Zoroark, and a Seismitoad. Really, really, it's, it's staying true to the name it's like being called, Evolving Cries. Maybe just don't open Evolving Cry, save yourself the uh, the trouble, just open uh, Brilliant Stars instead. As is now very evident, if we pull something else, that basically cements it. But yeah, um, there also has been, again, I try to avoid spoilers like the plague, but there have been some infos of V-Star Universe. It has been officially revealed, which is really nice. And, even though I tried to avoid it, I couldn't, uh, some of the cards that they have shown look absolutely incredible. Like, some of the cards, I'm gonna mention one in particular, which is the um, Hisuian Zoroark V-Star. That one looks super, super gorgeous as this, the Evolving Skies pack starts to disintegrate. There you go, Evolving Skies Code card. That one looks absolutely gorgeous. That right now, that's probably my chase card for for um, V Star Universe. I still don't know um, what they're gonna do. Oh, okay, another Rainbow Rare Trainer. This time from Evolving Skies, a copycat. So now we're like head and head with both of them. I I know that the Charon's Care isn't as. Uh, as high value. I just don't know how much the um, the copycat is. I mean, I guess with the Leafeon, with the Leafeon now, I think Evolving Skies might just pull ahead, which is really interesting. Okay, you know, you, you can still get your way out of here, Brilliant Stars, if you give us the very, very cool looking Charizard alternate art. Two Rainbow Red Trainers, who would have thought? I mean, I can only pull trainers, it looks like, because the, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Paradigm Trigger opening, if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. It was a really amazing opening, and I've pulled a full art trainer in that one as well. Which, you know, proves, kind of proves the point that I cannot pull Japanese alternate arts, but I was really happy. Because that not only is that um, the full art trainer that I've pulled in that opening really really cool, it's also one of the the better ones that you can pull in there. So that's very very nice. Let's see Lotad, Teddy Ursa, Nicket, Dwebble, Cutefly, and a non-holographic Milotic. So, well, at least we've gotten one pull so far. We've still got a few packs left to go. We'll see what else is in here. We'll see what else. Three packs left for each side. Maybe, dude. What if... What if... Hear me out. What if we pull an alternate art in both? In both Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars? That would be kind of crazy. That would be kind of crazy. Pretty unlikely, but crazy. So yeah, V-Star Universe uh, set to release December 2nd in Japan. Nice Kingler for Brilliant Stars. That adds a bit, a bit of value. Right now I think it comes down to whichever of these trainers is uh, worth a bit more for this battle. I'll probably order it or pre-order it um, on the same site as I that I used for my Paradigm Trigger opening, or my Paradigm Trigger Booster Box, sorry. Because not only did they ship very fast, it was also really, really easy. Well, ordering something online, it's easy, I guess what. But, the price was good as well, so I might use them again. I I only used a card market 
for like pre-ordering stuff so far, but I think for like Japanese products in particular, I think it's much better to just use a site um, that um, specifies on that. You know, that like specializes, not specifies, that specializes in, in that th sort of stuff. And Paradigm Trigger is being, is still being um, scalped a little bit here, because of course everybody wants to pull that, that Lugia V alternate art. As for me, I'm done with Paradigm Trigger. I pulled, pulled a real, had a really nice pull. And I'm not going to push my luck trying to pull a few more cards, because there's no point, really. Um, I was happy with my opening. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Jeez Louise. That took forever. There is the code card for Evolving Skies. Let's see. Corvana. Dwebble. Mareep. Drowsy. As I... Pull away a Scraggy, Lucky Ice Pop, and a Wishy Washy. Okay, nothing in this one. Although, we haven't pulled a Trainer Gallery card from Brilliant Stars yet. Which I'm pretty sure Brilliant Stars said, unless I'm mixing something up. I'm pretty sure Brilliant Stars also has the, the Trainer Gallery cards. Some of them, at least. I'm pretty sure, so we haven't pulled any of those. See if we can do that as I pull the code card up. And for the last pack, we're going to do our pack trick. Which is kind of throwing me off here, but you know. There you go, V-Star Marker. Clang. Gabite. Torkoal. Upchu. Duskull. Farfetched. Execute Grimer. Trap Inch. And... Nothing. Okay, a muck. So the last... The last uh, Brilliant Stars pack was a muck. As I flipped over these cards. One last Evolving Skies pack. Here we go. Let's see. Come on, alternate art. Any, really. I'd even take the Golurk. Yo, the Golurk alternate art, like real talk, is actually uh, one of my favorites from this one. And it isn't that expensive. I think it's like 12 euros or something. It's actually incredibly cheap, which is really nice. And it's amazing. So, energy, Fletch Cinder, Lantern, a Vagon, Luftdisk, Sea Dot, Slackoth, Blebebe, Pyroar, and the Lilligant. Okay. So, nothing in those two last packs, but we got two um, Rainbow Trainers, which is really nice, and two Vs, and like an additional Holo. So I think this mainly just comes down to whichever trainer is worth more. And the values for each, for Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies, will be popping up on the screen right now. So, the side that won, congratulations. I'm gonna put in a guess, I don't know yet. I think Evolving Skies is gonna win. Mainly because when well, you pull an Evolution, even though it's just a V, not an alternate art, and I, I think the copycat, this one is more expensive than the Charon. That's what I'm gonna tell. But anyways, if you enjoyed this opening, then a like would be very much appreciated. Uh, if you really loved the content, then subscribe and stay tuned for more in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.